welcome into Mary's Kitchen. Thanks for joining me today. I'm going to show you how to make a very, very simple six ingredient gluten-free tortilla wrap. It doesn't get much better than that. And if you're gluten-free, you're going to absolutely love this. It's so simple to make. You can make them, stack them up with uh, greaseproof paper in between each one put them in the freezer and just pull them out as you need them. They're absolutely fantastic. They're so simple to make. So it's six ingredients, three wet and three dry. So we wanna put our dry ingredients, first of all, into our bowl here. And the first one we're gonna start with is tapioca starch. Now don't try and use any other type of flour. This is the one that works. People ask me, can I use almond flour? Can I use oatmeal flour? Can I use brown rice flour? I've got like 30 flowers in my larder here. This is the one to use. You can buy it in the health food store. It's very, very easy to find, uh, but use this one. Don't try and uh, go off track and use something else because you're gonna end up with a disaster, which many girls who follow me on my Mary's Kitchen page on Facebook uh, have said to me, oh dear, that was a flop. They used almond flour, it was a flop. So please, tapioca starch that's what you want we want three quarters of a cup of tapioca starch flour which i'm going to put in the bowl here for starters all right as i say this is um three dry ingredients the next dry ingredient we're going to use is an organic coconut flour and i'm going to put three tablespoons of organic coconut flour in the bowl here now i'm not really a great one for measuring but uh be careful with your coconut flour because it does absorb a lot of the liquid. And if you find that it does become too thick, you almost need to add a little bit more liquid to it. So that's three. The one that I got here is Bayona Organic Coconut Flour, which is a great one. Again, you can find it in a health food store. Um, and a little twist of sea salt. I'd say about half a teaspoon of sea salt in there. And that's your dry ingredients. So I'm just gonna put that aside for a moment. And the next thing I'm gonna do is my three wet ingredients. So I bought some eggs the other day, which I'm really happy with, the farmer's favorites from Be Friendly Farms. Uh, medium eggs, I thought these were really quite nice, RSPCA Assured, uh, which is Royal Society Prevention Cruelty to Animals, which is wonderful, so we like that as well. And also this company has a Sustainable Food and Farming Award from 2019 which sounds terrific to me. <laughs> so they seem to be doing everything right. So we're just going to crack two eggs in here. Just catch your yolk and another one. Just give it a wee tap with a knife or a spoon. It makes it easy. And then we're going to do one cup of almond milk or I use unsweetened almond milk. Uh, the company Acti Life, but you can find all sorts of almond milk out there. And that's one cup. You can also use coconut milk if you like. I found coconut milk in pouches the other day, which was terrific. And I thought, oh, that's lovely. That's easy to use because when you buy the tins, it kind of solidifies in the top. And then you have all the coconut water down at the bottom. So the little pouches, if you can find them, super for this dish. One tablespoon of olive oil. That's our three wet ingredients. I'm gonna give that a whisk around. Mix those ingredients all together. Then I'm gonna mix my wet ingredients slowly into my dry ingredients here. So I'll just give those a whisk around first. Mix those ingredients together. See how simple this is. Six ingredient gluten-free tortilla wraps or as I like to call them, tortilla wraps. <laughs> but they are tortilla wraps. You can use them for Mexican food. You can uh, crisp them up in your oven and make little mini pizzas out of them. So there's a lot of uses for this. I've done videos on this before. I've got one video actually in circulation at the moment that's got about 30,000 hits on it. But uh, I haven't done a new one for a while, so I thought I'd do a new one. So that's all our lumps and bumps out of there. You don't want any lumps and bumps. So slowly pour your liquid in, keep stirring. And you'll feel that the liquid is quite thick because that's what the coconut flour does. It really, coconut flour is a lot uh, thicker flour. It absorbs the liquid much, much faster. Now I'm just gonna turn, I've got a little induction uh, uh, 
cooker here just so I can show you here on my kitchen counter how to make these and also the pan that I'm using here I just got the other day which is absolutely fantastic is a salter it's a stone ceramic absolutely wonderful no stick you don't have to put any oil or anything in there and normally I used to get my non-stick pans and sort of grease them with a little bit of uh, coconut oil or something So that's that done. And now I am going to pour this into here because it's gonna be easier for pouring into the pan. So we've got two little bowls here, one pouring one, one pouring plastic one. I'll just put that over there with my cups, all ready for washing. And I'll just move this in a little closer for you. Tidy up a wee bit, there we go and just let that heat up. There we go. So, I'm just heating the pan up. It's getting there. And now I'm going to pour my, I probably get about anywhere between six and eight tortilla wraps here. All right, these are wonderful if you get them uh, and you wanna put, um, let me just do one little tiny Barbie one for the Barbie doll. And just give that just make sure the heat's up properly. Let's see if it's gonna brown first. So I always like to do a little tester one, just to make sure that the, the heat's correct in the pan. So I've got this on a medium heat, and it looks like it's cooking quite nicely now. It starts bubbling on the top, and you can see that it's starting to, there. You see how simple it is, it's not even sticking. I want it a little tiny bit browner than that, so that's why I like to do a little test one first so you can see how it all works out. So I've got this on number five, it goes right up to 10, so that's sort of a medium heat. And uh, let's just have a look at this. There we go, that's perfect. So that's for your Barbie doll, all right? That's a little wrap for your Barbie doll. She can have her chicken Caesar wrap for lunchtime. <laughs> Anyway, we're now ready. We can just do the uh, adult wraps now. And I'm just gonna pour that in there and I'm just gonna swirl my pan ever so slightly. There we go. I just want to fill in these little gaps here. Pour a little tiny bit in that gap. There we go. There. Okay, it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect, but when you pour it into the pan, just give the pan a roll around like that, and you'll find that it'll work absolutely lovely. I'm going to make two, just make sure that we've got the thing. In actual fact, this pan is so good, you can actually flip these in the pan, which is wonderful. I might even try to give it a little flip, just to show you. But you can see all the bubbles coming up now on top of the tortilla. And these are wonderful for wrapping. They're not dry. You know when you buy tortillas in the, in the uh, supermarket, if you read the ingredients on the back, there's anywhere between 30 and 40 ingredients, all of which are probably mostly preservatives to keep that thing in the pack for probably for four or five or six months on the supermarket shelf. So that's the beauty of making these. They're absolutely fresh. There's no unknown ingredients in them. You can store them in your freezer, so you've always got them at hand. Great for if you're having a Mexican party. So that's my first one. There we go. Sorry for using my fingers, but they are asbestos fingers. Uh, these fingers have been cooking for a long, long time. Um, if you want to join me on uh, Mary's Kitchen, I'm on uh, Facebook, uh, either Mary Premier Crew or Mary's Kitchen, you can find me. I'm also on Instagram under Mary's Kitchen, and uh, if you want to follow, I'm posting most days photographs, recipes, all different things, especially on my Facebook page. You'll find all sorts of uh, fantastic recipes on there. Also, I have a blog on www Mary Premier Crew. And I recently brought out my own cookbook, which a lot of girls online have bought so far. And if you haven't got your copy, 
Well, you know you can order one. <laughs> there you go. So that's my first tortilla. There we go. Look how beautiful that is on that side. It's got the lovely little brown on there. Let's do one more. And then uh, just pour your liquid into the middle, your batter. And then just swirl your pan gently around like so. There we go. And you can just fill in the, if you've got some funny wobbly edges, you can just fill it in with a little tiny bit of batter on the edges. That's fine. There you go. No problem. You can just see it cooking there. And it's just about ready. It's almost ready to flip. There we go. I wonder if I can dare flip this one. Yep, it worked. <laughs> there you go. Flip tortilla. <laughs> you can have a go with that in your kitchen. It takes a little bit of practice. I've been doing this for a lot of years now. But uh, there you go. That's uh, your six ingredient tortilla wrap. I hope you enjoyed it. If you've enjoyed my video, please subscribe. All right. I'd really, really love you to subscribe if you're looking at this video. Uh, that would be wonderful. And thanks very much for watching. Come back and see me another day when I'll be showing you some more recipes and I'll be cooking from Mary's Kitchen Cookbook. Have a great day. And remember, if you see someone without a smile, give them yours.